What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be kind of a boring day. Getting in the field, getting some field work in. You know, it's almost been 20 plus years being a professional and one thing that I've learned is the fun stuff is fun. The not so fun stuff is how you get better. And that's why I'm in the field today. You know, the last couple years I haven't been doing a lot of field work. But this off season, I'm gonna get after it again. So I'm gonna take you guys through some of the drills I do and uh, bring you guys along for the ride. So these drills I'm gonna be setting up right now, they're part of my curriculum that I wrote. These are called the X steps, my whole curriculum. And uh, this is just a couple of the drills that I'm gonna be doing today. These are super important, really easy to set up. I got a couple cones, you can get these bad boys at Target or Walmart or whatever. You need that visual effect when you're practicing. I think it helps a lot. So this is one of my favorite drills. I like it because I can really feel the touch of the disc to start out before I do anything else. Early on in my career, this is one of the worst things that I was at in disc golf is no touch inside 100 to 200 feet. And over the last couple of years, I turned that into a strong suit to my game. I'm proud of that. It's boring. But you have to be able to get up and down from 200 feet. I say this a lot. As you can see, I was able to land just over the cone, short of the basket. That's the goal. We're not trying to make it. We're not trying to get really close. We're focusing on touch over these cones. Super easy setup. So we're just gonna set up three cones. Like I said before, you can do it with three discs. And then that could be your reference point to land over, stop before the basket. Really easy, but you know, even this easy stuff takes reps. Another thing that I really want to emphasize is when you're doing these drills, I just threw about 12 shots. None of them went past, all of them went just past the cone, so I'm kind of dialed with that shot. There's no reason to stick grinding on that one thing if you're doing it good that day. Now, if I were to throw these and land short or too far, I'd spend a, more, a little bit more time on it because that day, the form's a little off for some reason. But like I said, no reason to grind it out if you're already dialed, because then you're just getting reps on doing it good. And uh, yeah, we don't have time for that. We gotta get more drills in. All right, so this next drill is one of my favorite drills. It's one that I do every time I get to a field and before I warm up for a tournament, I'm always gonna be focusing on this, which I feel like is the most important drill that I do. This will really tighten up your game. So our touch is good. And now we need to see where that release point is. This stuff's super important too. Like a lot of people just get to the field. They don't really know what they're doing, but having structure is going to keep your game super tight. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping this improves me this year because I, I haven't been doing a lot of field work the last couple years due to injury and stuff, but I'm back and I'm ready to get after it. But this is the glue that holds my game together. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. Like, you know, I've said in previous videos, I'm starting that the Power Disc Golf Academy and taking that, you know, 15 plus years of elite you know, level of disc golf play, putting it in here so you guys can see my secrets has been super important to me. I can't wait to give that to you guys. So this drill is really simple. That's too big. I'm only going to be focusing on one thing right away. And that is that my disc is flying through that gap. So this one's super important. Go about 40 feet away from the cones. And then what I'm going to do, I'll grab another cone. I usually just throw down a disc, but since I have the cones today, I'm gonna to use these. I go 40 feet from where I'm about to throw, and then, I don't know, probably about four or five feet away from where I run up, I wanna put one cone. Now the reason for this drill is I'm focusing on my release point. I want to make sure that the disc five to six feet in front of me, four feet, whatever you put it at, is going directly over that point. 
Now the next thing that I focus on is that gap over there. I have to make sure that if I'm, my release point is spot on over this cone, then I'm hitting the gap right there. This is super important to be honest with yourself too. A lot of people will do this and it's off. This is one thing that really helped me when I first came to um, Team Discraft. My release point was off because of the new discs. And I went to a field, I found two trees about this wide and I started this drill. And this one changed everything. I was able to hit this gap kind of right away and then I got instant feedback where my release point was. And if you're accurate, you know, within five to six feet over this release point, and then you can hit a gap right there, you're gonna be spot on. Go ahead. Almost made it. So, just like before, I'm older. I gotta work smarter, not harder, so I threw about 10 shots there. I missed the cones one time, corrected it. No reason to grind on the release point when it's, when it's really good today, honestly. I'm throwing, it, I'm throwing it well, which is a good, a good thing, never a bad thing. And then I can go on to the next drill. So typically I wanna do, if I have time, I wanna do five to six, seven, eight, nine, even 10 drills, something like that. But I don't wanna sit there and grind on all of them, especially if I'm doing them well, I can just get to the next thing. I'm really trying to find a problem spot in my game right now. That's the goal, is to find something that I'm not doing well, then I can sit there on that drill for a while. So a lot of times it's, uh, all right, I'm doing that good, let me do another drill, and I'm really hoping to find something that I'm bad at. Otherwise, I'm out here just peering everything. And that's never good. I don't have anything to work on. But we'll find something. We'll find something. I know it. And when we do, we can throw more shots. And that's when you really get, you know, the good stuff is when you're able to find something you're not doing so good, grind on, grind on it, fix it, and then we can get out of here. But some days are like this. Some days... I come out here and I'm just pure and everything. And instead of me being out here for like an hour and a half or something, I'm here for an hour and then I can go home, feel good about it. Okay. My like next drill is, so we worked on the touch. That was pretty good. Release point, gap, pretty good. Now it's about, about now it's about having uh, control of the flight. So mid flight, I want this going directly over these cones. I put it halfway in between whatever your shot is. That way I can see if I'm having control in the middle of my flight. We had the end of the flight, we got good touch. Then we can hit a gap, but can we control the fly of the disc? All right, so the goal of this is middle flight. That's it. I want the middle of my flight to go directly over those cones. I threw about eight shots. First set wasn't so good. I had about two go over. Last set was perfect. All of them went straight over the cones on a pretty tight line, which is what I'm looking for. Getting better takes structure. That's what I'm trying to do with this Power Disc Golf Academy is I'm trying to create something to where you can go, you can watch the drills, have structure in your practice. So many people get out to the field and they don't know what to do. I know when I first started field work, I didn't know what to do, I just started throwing. Having structure is what's going to make you a better disc golfer. And that's what I'm trying to provide for you guys. Now, Power Disc Golf Academy is a great way to get better, I promise you that. I put a lot of time and effort into these drills. It's made me better, and I really wanna make you guys better. Till the first of the year, it's going to be $50 to join the Academy. That is an absolute bargain. Lifetime membership during that time. After that, it's gonna go up to $200. This stuff will help you. I promise you that because it's helped me. 
having structure, like I said, in your practice is big. And this is just one of the perks that we're gonna be offering in the Power Disc Golf Academy. Great Christmas gift for your friends too. I mean, then you guys can all be out there competing against each other. Everybody likes playing, but people like playing a lot better when you're playing good. I'm going to now combine all three of these drills. I wanna do that because I would normally practice a bit more, but for some reason today, like I said, I'm kind of peering it. So no reason to grind, especially, you know, it's really important to put good hard work into a short amount of time. Like you don't wanna just be out there grinding for three hours straight. You wanna have that structure and so I never push myself past a certain point, especially if I'm throwing well. When I'm not throwing well, that's when you need to really put in more shots. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating that mid-flight. I'm creating a spot where I need to throw it to, land short, slide up, try not to go past the basket. Now, if I can combine these three, this is, the last, this is the last thing I have to do. This is the hardest drill because I'm having to hit all three of my spots that I've been practicing. So we'll see. I mean, I'm already playing good. This is the tough part. This one usually takes me a bit longer to kind of get dialed. I'm going to try a really hard one too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a direct line, which to me is the hardest shot to throw, is to be able to keep a disc going straight through a tiny gap, stay straight past the cones, land softly at the basket. I mean, that's a shot that people practice their whole lives and can't do. So like I said, people practice this forever and they don't get it. That's why these three drills are super important because then you can focus on the starting point, the mid flight, the landing kind of right away, combine them all and now all of a sudden you got a straight shot. So a real easy way to learn how to throw it straight. All right, so we're going over the first cone. That's our release point. We got the gap. I need to move that actually a bit far, farther back but it's gonna be at 40 feet mid flight needs to be going straight and then I have to land it softly past those cones without going past the basket. So all three of the drills that I did before all combined into one. If I do this correctly, I can go home. All right, now we go look at the grid. I call it the grid. That is where are your discs in relation to the basket so that you can kind of get a self dialogue of, all right, where's my miss? Where did I do really good? A couple of them were great. I was actually a lot better than I expected. But that's what happens when you actually practice certain things, combine them, it makes it a lot easier. Instead of just thinking to yourself, okay, I gotta throw this thing straight. I have to make sure to land it with some touch. Like that's a lot of things to do at one time. But if you do separate drills, all of a sudden that plan comes together, you're throwing straight shots and everything's good. So walking up here, this was my first attempt and my grid is spot on. Like I would never complain about this ever. This one was perfect, perfect flight, dead straight. These one leaked a little bit left, but I mean, it held the straight gap. I hit that second gap. The mid flight wasn't as good as I'd like him, but I mean, all these are gonna be in the circle. This is the only one that went past the basket, which is a bummer because I almost got five of them which is a really good grid. But I mean, I can't complain about a 25 footer. My touch is there, my gaps are there, my mid flight is there. I put the pressure on myself. I freaking did it, I'm stoked. I get to go home. This is awesome. And now we just gotta clean it up. So I'm gonna be dropping a lot of drills like this at the Power Disc Golf Academy. We'll combine all that stuff. It's gonna make you a better disc golfer, I promise you that. PowerDGA.com is where you can get signed up. We have a lot of new members joining every single day. I'm super excited to make you guys better. 
$50 and you get a lifetime membership. Lots of drills like this, lots of tips, and uh, we're gonna make you a better disc golfer over there. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you down the fairway.